Lose yourself in a good book. The Board Gosh Energy Book Club. Now, our next guest seems to have unintentionally hit on a hugely successful trend in the children's book world. The Tom Gates books are not just guaranteed to enthrall young readers, they're also perfect for children who need a bit more encouragement than the average. No wonder teachers, parents and children alike are in love with them. And here to tell us the secret to her success is Liz Pichon. Liz, you are very welcome to Ireland AM. I'm really pleased to be here. Thanks now, for inviting me. You're very welcome. <laughs> Any time. We must say, first of all, a shout out to all the Flanneries out there, because yeah, although your surname really is... <laughs> Your husband is from Dublin. He is, that's right, yeah. So I saw lots of relatives on Saturday, so... Um, hi, guys. Hello, the Flanneries. <laughs> Hello, the Flanneries. But we are here to talk about your fabulous books, which were kind of born out of, well, you being an illustrator, which maybe was born out of you having dyslexia, which you only discovered when your son was diagnosed as being dyslexic. Yeah, that's right. Well, I mean... Really, I worked as an illustrator, so I didn't, you know, in the 70s, it wasn't like a bit, I just struggled a bit at school. So I think it's one of the reasons why it took me so long to actually start writing, because, you know, I just didn't ever see myself as being a writer. I've always been very creative, and I started off um, actually illustrating other people's books. And then gradually I started to think, well, maybe, you know, maybe I could write my own stories, and if I wrote my own stories, then I wouldn't have to wait for somebody to give me a job. And that's how Tom Gates started. So it actually started off as a picture book idea first and then gradually morphed. I had about two or three rewrites and then the first one came out in 2011. So I did an idea for it. We sent it off to the publishers and within two weeks, I got seven different offers. Seven I different did. offers? It completely freaked me out. I've never happened before and it's probably never going to ever going to happen again. <laughs> I think you're kind of made, Liz. I don't think you need to worry from here on out. Well, I, you know, you always have that sort of feeling. You never know... Um, you know what's around the corner so I it, it was amazing so if the first one came out in 2011 and just for people who aren't familiar with Tom yeah. Bates, we've got the book oh, yeah. here so the illustrations are a huge part of it as big a part of it it's as the writing is but just really to, is, give us yeah. ideas to who Tom is um, who the book is for because well, it's not your average children's book well that's one of the reasons that the books have got so many illustrations in because um, because I'd done picture books before, I really wanted to try and tell a story using all the kind of things that picture books have. So we use lots of different size fonts, and you have that page-turning moment. Um, and so, yeah, so I put lots of different fonts. So the doodles and, are there in the all, middle of all the writing. Absolutely. It's not your illustrations on one side no. and your writing on the other side. So it's very much, they're all there to help tell the story. And I think it's inadvertently had the effect that children who are reluctant readers particularly, you know, they get into the books very quickly. And I write about... So Tom's about nine or ten years old, and he's not really naughty, he's just a little bit pesky, and he, he gets very easily distracted, um, and he's very keen on drawing and doodling. And the stories are really just about sort of ordinary family life and sibling rivalry and about his teachers and, you know, his yeah, friends at school. It's pretty much day-to-day stuff, It's very day-to-day. Really. Day. Yeah. It's like... I like the little details yeah. about... You know, everybody has funny stories about, you know, their families, their pets and what they got up to at school and that kind of thing. And I so just... is this your own family inspiring you? Do, do your kids come <laughs> home and go, Mum, do not write about that today? Actually, my kids are much older now, so they're like 25, 22 so and So you can, you can mine their childhood? I absolutely do. And the good thing about it, I mean, they have read the books a little bit, but they have no idea how much of their lives and bits and pieces that I put in there. Um, but I'm always, you know, on the lookout for little ideas, listening to the radio, watching TV... Um, and you just jot things down, like if you hear a good name or something like that. You know, I keep a little notebook and I'm always putting little ideas down. So do you view yourself as an illustrator or a writer or both? I'm really an illustrator. I'm an illustrator who writes books as well. And we, so. uh, she really is an illustrator because I'm going to get her to show you her shoes because <laughs> you have jewellery that you've illustrated. Have, you have yeah. shoes. Show us. Do you mind if I you no, take no, off your go. shoe and illustrate? So, so go, you've illustrated shoes, it with the Tom Gates illustrations all over it. I reckon I could almost sell as many shoes as I could books. I, I think you could. I think you could do a nice little shoe line. Well, it's great because I just sort of, it was, you know, when I was doing school visits particularly, I mean, I've always drawn and... Yeah, and your nails and as my well. nails, yeah. yeah. I've drawn my nails as well. <laughs> and her earrings and her jewellery. <laughs> no, everywhere. Top to toe. I know. But I've always made things, you know, I make badges and I've always done all that kind of thing. Even when I was a kid, I used to do it. So I was very keen to try and get lots of creative ideas in the books. And particularly when I was doing school visits, you know, you go and if all the kids are sitting on the floor. Um, so they're at shoe level. Yeah, they're at shoe yeah. level. And it's one of the first things that they see. And I really like the idea that they can see that you can take the ideas, and you can take the drawings and you can do other things. So the books are always, I've always got things to make in the books as well. 
there's always things how to make out of paper and in this one we've got paper chains i've show i show all the kids that how to make a paper chain monster and <laughs> things like that so there's always little extra bits and pieces that are in the book now you mentioned and I would agree that um, the books are very helpful for children who don't necessarily run to reading and aren't mad fans of it it does encourage those who struggle a bit with reading and I was saying there's a friend of mine whose son is autistic yeah. and he really engages in the books and you were saying yeah, you get a lot of that I get absolutely yeah. loads of it I get lots of parents teachers you know, emailing me and saying that their children who were reluctant readers really enjoy reading the books. And it's like a sort of, it's an opening to a different world, which is not something that I intentionally set out to do. I just wanted to write a book that I thought I would really enjoy at that age. And that's one of the reasons I put lots of drawings and doodles in it. But the fact that actually there's lots of children that um, are, are finding a way into books, which is so important. I mean, like reading for pleasure is such a big deal, I think. And obviously it's something that resonates around the world because they've been translated into 41 languages. They have. Two and a half million books. Does that mean you're rip-roaringly rich no. now? <laughs> Surely you can buy some shoes that haven't to draw you on know, your own. I, I think I'm always going to do this kind of thing. And I really like the fact that, you know, you can just buy a you know, pair of ordinary shoes or trainers and just draw on them and, you know, change other things and make things out of clay and that kind of thing. But, yeah, no, they're in about yeah, 41 different languages. So You must be very proud. No one, you know, I'm having an absolutely fantastic time. It's been amazing. And the last four or five years have just whizzed by. And I've done, I've had so many opportunities to sort of, you know, to, to write all these different stories and meet all the different people. And well, Liz, so. I have no doubt that this book is going to fly off the bookshelves. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a great Christmas gift as well, especially oh, as you said for you. reluctant readers. It well, is it's 11. This is book 11. This is book 11. Start book at the beginning. Busy, yeah. Start at the beginning. <laughs> Liz, thank you so much. Pleasure. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Lose yourself in a good book. The Board Gosh Energy Book Club.